Yay! I passed the AZ500 Microsoft Azure Security Engineer exam. This is my first Microsoft certification. My foray into getting Microsoft certificate begins. So in this video, I will cover what is AZ500 exam, how to prepare for the exam, what to study and what not to study for the exam, how long should it take to prepare for the exam, what is AZ500 exam, AZ500 is the code for Microsoft Azure Security Engineer exam. Microsoft in July launched the new role-based certifications for Microsoft 365 and Azure. What this means is you can choose which certification path to take depending on your job role and years of experience. If your job role is to manage security for Azure, then you can take the exam AZ500. Microsoft Azure Security Technologies, which makes you certified Azure Security Engineer Associate. How to prepare for the exam? The AZ500 Azure Security Engineer exam is definitely not an easy one to pass, and it challenges you with long business scenarios that you should read through and pick the right answer. It took me three months of preparation with three hours a day of studying each day. Okay, let me give you a brief background on my tryst with the MS certification exams. Even since I was working on Azure Cloud Computing, it was a goal to take a vendor-relevant certification. Post finishing my office works, I used to study for an hour or so. So first, I had to select the exam I should take based on the work I was performing. Then, I found AZ735 certification, most obvious choice based on what had I learned by then. So one month before the exam, I put in more efforts. As soon as I was confident to appear for the exam, I came to know that MS was about to expire 7535. My preparation spirit went into doldrums. Unsure about the significance of holding a retired certification dragged me to double state of mind. Finally, I dropped the plan to appear for the exam, though I knew that I could take the bridge test AZ302 to make up to the new 7535 exam, but I decided to wait a bit longer. My association with the MS Azure technology is around two years long. Again, I started working and searching for the relevant certification. I found AZ100 and AZ101 to be a good test of my knowledge. Though these certificates are way basic than 70 series, but I decided to take them. Again, the same cycle. Started to read 10 to 15 minutes post office and then I was ready to appear. To my dismay, I got to know that AZ100 and AZ101 are to be combined to one certification test. My preparation spirit went into doldrums again. Unsure about the significance of holding an old certification dragged me to double state of mind. Finally, I dropped the plan to appear for the exam. Then I came to know about the newly published AZ500 exams. I was determined more than ever, no matter the certificate is going to expire, no matter the new version was to be published, I wanted to nail it. I decided to take the then recently launched exam AZ500. I studied a bit and I was determined that I wanted to set for the exam. I will say that MS also introduced new certification, retiring old certification, splitting certifications into two, making bridge courses, ephemeral duration of certificates. So finally, I could chase the MS certification. As I said, I noted the syllabus and tried to stick to it. I mostly followed MicrosoftDocs.com and did hands-on on the free Azure portal. Okay, one important thing, MS had then recently attached labs to the AZ500 exam. So please have a good hands-on experience on creating a VM, NSG, AD, rules, etc. I had received around 8 to 10 questions to be performed on the labs during the exam. Apart from that, there are multiple scenario-based questions, multiple choice questions, drag and drop types of questions, and true or false types of questions. My tips. Have good hands-on on topics. Understand when and why should we use access policies. What are all different ad roles? advanced threat protection measures, Azure disk encryption, etc. I am sure if you understand the concepts, you should be good to pass. Drop me a comment if you want to ask any other questions.